In order to stick to time, I uh, wrote up the text, uh, which is rather unusual for me, because otherwise I, uh, I love to talk lengthy. Um, in the coming five minutes, I, uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how we can use CRISPR uh, in malaria research, and not by using gene drive in the mosquitoes, but actually targeting the malaria parasite. So after a gradual decline, uh, malaria is researching once more, with over 200 million uh, cases and 400,000 deaths each year. It's strongly related to poverty. There is no effective vaccine. Uh, drug uh, resistance is fast to emerge. And um, genetic manipulation of the malaria parasite was uh, pioneered in the mid-90s. And in 2002, the genome sequence of the most deadly form of malaria, Plasmonium falciparum, was published. However, the process has always been very slow and cumbersome because it took at least six months or more to generate a mutant parasite. That was until CRISPR was introduced a couple of years ago. And surely uh, the sky is not yet the limit, but we're getting there a lot faster and more reliable. As an example, the malaria parasite is transmitted by, malaria, by the malaria mosquito. And upon an infectious bite, the parasites enter the body and uh, replicate in the liver for an asymptomatic cycle. Next, they end up in the blood, where fast replication is occurring and people get sick, um, suffering from fevers or much worse. To complete the cycle, the parasite has to develop into sexual stages, which are then fertilizing in a mosquito midgut following a blood meal, uh, thus spreading the disease. Most of the antimalarials are targeting the asexual cycle, so curing people, but not preventing an infection nor preventing uh, transmission. And key for the development of new antimalarials would be to develop drugs that target all three stages, preferably targeting new pathways and also ki uh, killing already resistant parasites that are present in the field. Uh, our team, including Joost Schalkwijk uh, and uh, Patrick Janssen from Dermatology and uh, Koen Deging from TorpAQ, developed a new class of antimalarials known as the pentatenamides uh, that are derived from antibiotics that kill both the asexual and sexual blood stage parasites uh, and are effective against uh, a whole panel of resistant parasite lines. Pentatenic acid is a crucial uh, nutrient for the malaria parasite uh, for the generation of the critical coenzyme A. The pentatenamides are a chem chemically stabilized uh, version that are well tolerated and mi mimic pentatenate being uh, processed in the same pathway and through metabolomic studies performed by Eric Elman in the uh, lab of Manuel Linas at Penn State University, we uh, saw that upon treatment with these compounds, the parasites had a strongly reduced acetyl-CoA uh, levels, both in the asexual and sexual blood stages. Um, we generated resistant parasite lines deliberately by slowly increasing uh, the levels of uh, antimalarial of the pentatenamides and then did whole genome sequencing of these mutants, identifying two tar potential targets of the, uh, of the drugs, of, um, acetyl-CoA synthetase uh, as well as an acyl-CoA synthetase uh, family member uh, 11. When we uh, treat the parasites, we can kill them uh, with nanomolar concentrations of the compound. And these resistant lines were at least 300-fold uh, more resistant, uh, or, or resistant to 300-fold higher concentrations. Laura de Vries, a PhD student in the lab, and a master intern, uh, Julie Verhoef, used CRISPR-Cas9 uh, gene editing to remove these mutations and thereby restoring sensitivity of the parasites uh, based on all the different mutations. Next, we used wild type parasites and introduced the acetyl-CoA synthetase uh, mutation, thereby in, uh, increasing the resistance of, the, of these parasites. And by adding the second mutation, fully restored the uh, resistance phenotype, thereby providing uh, very important evidence for a likely mechanism of action of this novel class of antimalarials. But the implications of CRISPR in the malaria field can be much further than facilitating and accelerating our study of the biology of the parasites and drug development. 
We may also use it to engineer live attenuated whole parasite vaccines, uh, which can then be used to protective uh, immune responses uh, without causing an infection, because these parasites arrest in the liver development being pre, uh, before c uh, clinical development of the disease. At the moment, the first human trial is uh, uh, underway with an old school genetically attenuated parasite, but of course CRISPR will allow much more precision and versatility in generating such uh, life attenuated vaccines. But that would be a topic for a whole new five-minute talk. So with that, I'll leave you.